Joining me now to help break down this lunacy uh, is the former ICE acting director and former chief of Border Patrol, Ronald Vitello, and also retired Border Patrol agent and Terrell County, Texas Sheriff Thaddeus Cleveland. Great to see you both. Thaddeus, I'll start with you. Look, again, I just want to remind people, the Biden administration sued Texas, told them to take down the buoys. The Biden administration uh, and the DOJ specifically sued the state of Arizona, said take down the shipping containers that you used to have a temporary barrier. But now we're supposed to believe that Kamala Harris, Miss tie-breaking vote herself, there in the room for everything that Joe Biden did, is now going to adopt Trump-esque border policies? Make it make sense, my friend. Hi, Joe, and thanks for having me on. And Chief Patello, good to see you, sir. Um, you know, look, this administration has fought uh, Texas harder than it's fought securing the border. Um, you know, we, the last three and a half years has been complete chaos. And what this administration has done with the, the complete dismantling of the border here in the last couple of months, you know, six months before the end of this um, election cycle, they've taken token efforts to try to, to show that they've secured the border. But in fact, they really have it. And, and what they've done here recently could have been done three, three and a half years ago. Um, yep. the, the border wall certainly is a key piece of securing our border. You know, that added along with infrastructure and technology, as well as manpower is, is what's needed to make sure we have border security, which is separate from immigration. You know, Ronald, you know, to that point, uh, any, any way you want to measure success or failure when it comes to our border, the Biden-Harris administration has failed. Right. We've got over two million gotaways that have entered this country. We have no idea where they are, state of mind, who's to say. You look at the people on the terrorist watch list, 12 on President Trump's watch, well over 200 on Joe Biden and Kamala Harris's watch. And so the homeland is less safe. Our sovereignty has been the base. Put it in context for the average American, what Kamala Harris's border policies uh, put forth over another four years would do as far as us being able to dig out afterwards? We know what her policies are going to be because she's already on record. We just saw all those clips, her laughing about the border wall, calling it Donald Trump's vanity project. She obviously has not spent more than five minutes with a border patrol agent who has had to work the line in a place like Nogales or in Brownsville. Walls work, agents know it, the data proves it. And for her now to be on the side of building wall, well, great, you, you, you finally come along. But she's LARPing. She's acting like she's a leader. She has never been a leader on this issue. In fact, she's abused the front line every chance she got. Remember what she said about those brave horse patrolmen in Del Rio, Texas. Remember what she said about the men and women of ICE of being akin to the KKK because they were doing their job as immigration officers. She has no credibility on this issue. And for her now to try to deceive the American people is really insulting to those of us who have been paying attention with our own eyes what's happened on the border since she's been in charge. For every single American family that has lost the life of a loved one at the hands of somebody who not only should not have been here, but had been captured and then was re-released into the population, uh, it again is a slap in the face. Going to have to leave it there. Sheriff Ronald, great to see you, my friend. We'll talk again soon. Thank, Thank you. you. Adios.